Hiya, my August sub box from Simply Gilded has just arrived. So let's have a look. So here's the box, cozy and crisp with a rose gold foil on it. A very autumn feel to it. It's cozy time on the back. It's cozy time with juniper on the back there. Cute box. Okay, what's inside the box? As per usual, there's the menu card which shows all of the items that are in here. And then let's have a look. This is the pouch. I've been really looking forward to getting this. A gorgeous gold heart on it. Really love it. Just a snap closure and sort of a very soft felt interior. So the washi will be inside there. So we'll just have a look at the other things first. Oh, cute. Oh, this is super cute. This is so cute. So we've got nap time with Jasper and the toadstool. Really nice. And some Jasper seals with rose gold foil. Some bow seals with rose gold foil. Really nice soft colour theme. And some stickers. There's a small sticker sheet with some full boxes and half boxes. Fall in love. And then the usual two large sticker sheets. Here's the first sticker sheet with the days of the week and the various headers and three full boxes. And here's the second sheet. Oh my goodness, this double box is adorable. And it is actually cut to be two single boxes, but obviously put them together and it creates a double box. And these really cute little decorative elements in this here. Yeah, I have to look at this. So stinking awesome. Cute. So that the stickers. Then there's a, it looks like a B6 size insert with cozy on the front. And there's the back. I like that she's now putting the words on the front rather than the back. And these look like pen loops. So they have some adhesive on the back here. Peel that off and that will be sticky. And then your pen can fit in this bit here. And they have cute bows on them. It's the first time she's had these. These are cute. When I get the pen out, we'll see how the pen fits. And then there's this cute little bow charm with a tiny little acorn on it. That is cute. Let's get that out. It's sort of a velvety feel. It has these two danglers on it, the little heart shaped one and the little acorn and a lobster clasp. I see on the pouch there's a little loop there so we could pop this bow charm on there. And there we have it on the pouch. Cute! Okay, and what's inside the pouch? Inside the pouch there is the most gorgeous pen. It has simply gilded embossed on here. It has gold hardware and it's just this gorgeous ombre shading along the pen barrel. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. It's really nice. And that looks like a gel pen. It's got the little um, doodacky on the end there and it has a nice weight to it. Just grab the pen loop and see how the pen fits in here. Just massage that into shape a little bit. And there we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
so cute love it okay so that's the pen and the pouch which obviously fits the pen inside and then also in the set there are six washi rolls so six washi rolls for August I believe the bow is a variation so everyone's bow um, could be a little bit different well not everyone's bow there'll be about six different variations of bow so there's a bow washi a gorgeous stardust a simple line a very very cute toadstool the plaid pattern and a rose gold wood grain I'll unroll these and we'll have a look at them. And then the 5mm add-on. This is what's in the 5mm add-on. They also look really cute. So what I'll do now is just unwrap the washi. This is the journal card that came in the sub kit. I'm just going to lay the washi out on the reverse side of this. This is the first washi. So this is a rose gold wood grain pattern. I'll just rip a little bit of that off. And we'll pop that in the corner. Like so. This is one of the add-on rolls with the 5mm tiny bow. And I'm just going to use my Fiskars knife just to cut this. The next washi is the Stardust which hopefully you can see all the foiling on there. Very pretty. And just pop that one down. This is one of the 5mm add-ons. I think it's called Heart and Vine. I think that style of washi. There's this 15mm washi. This 5mm washi is also the heart and vine style. Just a white. And then we've got the bow, which is a variation. So this is the variation that I've received. And we'll see what that looks like down. There it is there. And this is the last 5mm in the add-on. You can see that's two colours on that one. This one's the Simple Line Washi with rose gold foiling on it. And here we have the cute toadstools. So we'll pop them down. That's all of the washi. I'll just carry on with the pattern um, until this is finished and then we can pick it up and have a look at it. Once I've laid all the washi down on a card, I just run along the edges of the card to make sure I've pushed all the edges down nicely. And then I just use my knife just to run it along the edge of the card. I usually just do this side quite roughly, more just to remove it from the board because I find it's much easier to cut the washi off looking at it from this side. So I sort of do the outside fairly roughly. You can see there it's um, nowhere near close to the card. And then I can trim it much more closely on this side.
Okay, so that's cutting the edges off all around there. And, whoops, I can just, that little bit of washi just peeled up. We'll just pop that back down. And I'll just tidy that up. So here you can see all of the washi that's in the cozy and crisp sub box for August. Hopefully the light's catching the foil there and you can see that. And that's on the back of this super cute card. Nap time. Okay, my cat is meowing in the background. She obviously wants some attention, i.e. food. So um, I finished that anyway. So thanks for watching this sub box unboxing. And also if you wanted a quick craft, there's a quick craft for you to use some washi. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.